Artificial intelligence, or better known simply as AI, seems to be everywhere these days, from weird art found online to this robot serving burritos in my local Mexican restaurant. But what about AI in the biggest franchise in the world, Pokemon? Can it build a better competitive VGC team than the pros? Yo, what is up YouTube, it's your boy Bruno, and I could not be more excited because we get to do AI videos again. This is one of my favorite things we do on the channel. I do it generally every Monday, but I had to take a little bit of a break because we were doing some Regulation E stuff and the DLC came out and nobody wanted to see Regulation D stuff once all that stuff came out. So it became moot point, but I got hit up by the creator of the website saying, hey, we got it updated. It's good to go for Regulation E and I could not be more excited. So shout out to them, shout out to the creator of this website. I love this thing, it's so much fun. If you don't know what it, we do, I do this series every Monday and I'm bringing it back. And what I do is I have this fancy AI team builder website right here behind me. And I will put in a Pokemon into one of these, uh, usually into Pokemon one slot. And it'll generate me, I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see, it'll generate me five different teams here. And then one of those teams gets selected and it gives you items and it gives you Terra types. You can't change those. You have to use those exact parameters. You can change EVs, you can change uh, moves, all that stuff, but you can't change the items and the Terra types. And then we have to take that, build it, get it in game, take it onto the rank ladder, play three matches and try to win at least one with it. And today I have a special guest. It's my be it's one of my best friends. It's Kevin from Poker Sports. I love this dude to death. I love both the Poker Sports guys. Shout out to Mike too. I love Mike. Mike's the man. But um I hit up Kevin. I'm like, "Hey dude, you want to be part of the first AI video back?" He's like, "Sure." So I'm like, "All right. Well, what Pokémon do you want to do?" And he replied instantly with Mamoswine. And I'm like, "You know what? I'm all for it." We have not done a Mamoswine video. I think we have, he's been on a team, but we haven't done like a featured Mamoswine video, so I'm all for it. So let's hit the build button. Let's generate five Mamoswine teams any minute now. I hit the build button and there it, is. There it goes. Cool. So it gave us five Mamoswine teams. Some interesting sets. I'll give it, I'll give you that. Some interesting things. Loaded dice Mamoswine seems, seems kind of interesting. Did this thing change? I don't know if it changed between when I looked away or not. Anyway, I'm going to take a picture of this right now. I'm going to send it to Kevin. He's going to make me one of these five teams. I'm going to get it into game. I'm going to bring it onto the ladder. And um, Kevin will explain his thought process too. I think he's going to cut a, a quick little video explaining it. But anyway, before we jump into that, please subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I do this every Monday. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs before the end of the year. And also, I'm bringing you daily Pokemon content. I'm switching it up a little bit. On the channel, I'm gonna get you some some different Pokemon VGC content. Um, still battles, but just just a little bit different. Maybe some more meta stuff. But anyway, please um, please please subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. This is a cool thing I love to do. Also, uh, I got links to Poker Sports stuff down in the uh, description. Please go sub to them. I love those guys to death, and they deserve everything. But um, also in the description is a link to my Discord. Jo join that if you want. But anyway, I've rambled for too long. Let's jump to the Ludicolo transition and see what Kevin picks for us. Hey, what's going on, Bruno's channel? I'm here today to either make Bruno have the easiest time of his life or the hardest. I haven't decided which I'm doing today. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Kevin from Pokesports. Hi. Um, nice meeting you. Nice being here. Bruno asked me to go ahead and select an AI Pokemon for the AI to actually build around. So, I chose Mamoswine. Don't particularly have a great reason as to why. Mainly, I was looking at Bruno's channel. I saw that he played Pilaswine and hasn't played Mamoswine yet. So, I was a little confused. So, I, I just figured I, I'd resolve that issue. So, here we have a Mamoswine team. Now, a couple of Mamoswine teams. Actually, I have to choose and decide which Bruno is going to build around out of the five presented to me. And... I narrowed it down to two, and for a very stupid reason. So, I want to do loaded dice. <laughs> so, I it's going between one or three at this point. I want to do loaded dice. I want loaded dice Icicle Spirit to be a thing that Mamoswine can do, mostly because Glacier can't do it for some reason anymore. And looking at the rest of each of these teams, I don't want to play Monkey Dory. And I wouldn't want Bruno to play Monkey Dory. Because I want him to have at least a, a good enough time here with the AI team. So I'm going with the Hoodra. 
So we have the Hoodra, Clefairy, which I think is going to be a disgusting combination. Uh, the only awkward thing is, with this team, Hoodra has a Grassy Seed, but there's no Rillaboom. So I'm going to let Bruno figure that one out. But hey, that's what the AI wants. That's what the AI is going to get. Maybe Bruno's going to go against a bunch of Rillabooms on the ladder and he'll be fine with the Hoodra. Along with that, we also do have the other ice Pokemon that is pretty good at this game, Chen Pao, on this team. We have the friend guard with the Clefairy to help Hoodra be that much tangier. I, I low-key think that Clefairy and Hoodra are a pretty decent combination together. and I'm surprised more people aren't playing it. So I guess we'll see if the AI is correct. And also, you got Specs, Flooded Mane, and an Assault Vested Hands. That's who I'm selecting. Deal with it, Bruno. And on to the rest of the video. Thanks, Kevin. This um, this one will be a fun one, right? He picked Team 3. And honestly, it feels the best overall, I think, out of those. I haven't really looked too deep at them. But um, Grassy Sea Gudra is a choice and a half. So, yeah, hopefully we come up with some Rillabooms. Hopefully we go against him. I don't I don't know why we would. I have a Chen Pao and a Mamoswine, and those should scare the absolute crap out of a uh, Rillaboom, but maybe we do. I don't know. But anyway, this is the team right here. I'll put a paste down below. I made a rental. I put this on my alt because I'm running out of spaces on my main, and I want to keep some of the other ones active for you guys. So this is on my Scarlet copy, which is why it's a different OT. But um, yeah. This is, this is the team we're going to go and try to win three games with. We're going to play three games. Try to win it. We got to win at least one. Hopefully, we win more than that. So, I'm feeling all right about it. Mamo and Chen Pao feel feel kind of nasty. And then just, yeah, Clefairy Gudra just seems nasty that I can just follow me and just uh, acid armor up until I have an unstoppable force named Gudra. But yeah, let's get into it. We also have no speed control. Just realize that fun yeah let's get into it and let's um let's do some gudra stuff hopefully or mammoth swine i guess this is a mammoth swine video once again go sub to poker sports shout out kevin shout out mike love those guys thank you for doing this kev let's uh let's go mammo all right we got a match Ooh, okay this no lie this kind of feels like a good gudra match um also i should note that like i said i made the rental on my uh What's I'm gonna call it on my alt on my scarlet copy, but I am playing on my main violet copy, which is in the ranked ladder. So we are going against ranked people. This is very real. No way, no way they bring Landorus to a to a mammoth swine party, right? Like, there's no way they should ever do that. I feel like I should just lead Iron Hands Mammo. Do I do that or do I lead Clefairy Gudra? What do they have for Gudra? I don't really know what they have for Gudra. All right, I'm gonna lead Gudra, Clefairy, and Iron Hands. I'll bring I'll bring Clefairy in the back. We're just gonna go right out with the Mamo. I feel all right about this. If they bring Lando, they bring Lando. But I do have Ice Shard. Oh, that's kind of a sick picture. You know, like a little motorcycle gang with lizards. But you like have an old timey hat. Yeah, see, I don't really know what you want to do here. So I just want to icicle spear over here in acid armor, I think. You could close combat into the mammo, but I don't know if you risk that or not. Are you gonna wellspring? Tell me you wellspring. You wellsprung? You're gonna wellspring. Yeah. Just don't follow me sword stance. That could be potentially bad for me. It could, I guess it could. I mean, I'm also going plus. That does nothing. That does actually nothing. They're probably going to bot my Mammo here in two seconds. But that means I get a free Clefairy and or Iron Hand. I'm okay with that. Five hits. Loaded dice, Mammo. Coming in clutch. Oh, goodbye, Mammo Swan. <laughs> we got some chip on that thing. Give me 
didn't call it that. They do CC. Not great. I probably, yeah. Mm. Well, now I got Iron Hands to come in. I could fake out that spot, but I don't think that does. I think they protect. I'm going to fake out this spot. And Terra Fairy Life do maybe? Does Terra Fairy really do anything for me here? I'm going to fake that out in Acid Armor again. I think that's fine. I'm cutting it close. They don't protect with the... Yeah, I didn't think that killed. I don't have Protect on this Gudra. I played it very badly. I have no answers for Scizor. I have no fire moves. Do I even... No, I, I can't win this. I'm going to life do on the off chance that they throw. Um... Nope, they don't throw. They just straight up go for go for Gudra. Well, now they're minus three, and we get rid of this thing. So that'll be good. This should one shot, right? He's a minus three. Is he Sash? We crit. Who runs Sash? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna bring the Clefairy. He's 100% going to bullet punch that spark. I'm going to wild charge over here. I don't have... Okay. We're going to Terra steal the Clefairy. I don't have, unfortunately, a... Um... Oh, what's I'm going to call it? I don't have a uh, Protect on here. Kind of wish I did, but I have Heal Pulse instead, which isn't the worst, honestly. I understand the logic. Show me you bullet punch the Clefairy. Yeah. Resist. Oh, you're so good, Clefairy. We should get two KOs here. Wild Charge into the Ogre Pond. And then a Nightshade. <laughs> I love how the... <laughs> Hold on, I just realized. Clefairy's so tiny, but the axe on its head is just gigantic. It's so funny. I think I can just win now. Because I think I can just follow me drain punch things. And just kind of live forever. What do you have in the back? If it's Landorus, it's not great. Oh, it's a Heatran. But we're... Oh, wait. That was their lead. Oh, no. Uh, forgot about that part. Oopsie. Um, hmm. We're gonna heal Pulse. Yeah, I think I live that. Cool. That's what I needed. Oh, he's faster. Never mind. GG's. We, we lose. Man, I forgot they had two more Pokemon in the back. I thought I already took one out. But nope, it was their lead that I could not break through. We ain't going out like no punk, though. We're gonna get no damage down right now. They did bring a Landorus to the Mammoth Swine Chien Pal party, which good on you to do so. That's uh, kind of ballsy. Anyway, GG's to them. They deserve that one for sure. Let's get game two. I, I got to get redemption. I, pl I played it kind of badly. I didn't think they'd really close combat my Gudra just right off the rip. That's on me. Let's get another one. All right, we got a match. And they have the James Beck team. Is this the exact James Beck team? Because I don't think... Unless... J did James just drop his video? No. No way he did, right? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. But this is, this is the James Beck 6. I know that much. Do I just lead double ice right away? Or do I lead... 
Yeah, I can kind of just lead double ice, I think, right away. Because they have... They do have things I don't want to see as much, but I don't... Alright, we're going to lead double ice. I'm going to bring Gudra and I'm going to bring Flutterman. We're going to leave Clefairy at home. I want to late game Gudra. I want, but I want to get rid of the Golden Go. That's really the thing. And I want to kind of tempt him into bringing the Golden Go. And then just bop him with a high horsepower. Because I think that'd be pretty, pretty sick. It, James's was Terra Dragon, which is also nice. So I can double into it with like an ice and a ground move. If they decide to terror it. I'm assuming that this is the James Beck team. Which he also took from... It's not... James won with it, but it's not James's team. He... he I know that he, uh, he got... He got the six, or at least the inspiration, a lot of it from a uh, Japanese player. My dog's going crazy as usual. That's what he does. I'm going to Sacred Sword over here. Can I take a... Yeah, I'm just going to do that and, and protect. Your big old Terra Water coming in from the, uh, from the Ark. Mm -hmm. Terra Fairy, that's right. You get a Tailwind Rock Slide? Of course you Tailwind. They always Tailwind. You miss Mammo. So you hit the Chimp out. Does nothing because they tear it. But now that's great for my Gudra, actually. I have a safe swap to Gudra. I'm going to Icicle Spear into this spot. Because I think... They're locked in with Rock Slide, so I'm not worried about it. I think my Mammo should live a Rock Slide. They do? Okay, they hit a Bleak Wind. Mammo doesn't like that as much. And they do hit the Rock Slide. Mammo live. Ah, oh, Mammo, come on, man. Oh, it's so frustrating. I just want Mammoth Swan to do what it needs to do. But what do I go into? I kind I want kind of want to say Fluttermane in the end. Uh, do I just heavy slam over here? No way they let me have that, right? I'm gonna acid armor. I'm gonna I'm gonna protect. I think they swap it for Golden Go. They don't swap it for Golden Go. I had a free one. I just can't break through this lead, man. I don't I don't know how to beat this. I don't think the original I don't think James has had taunt. Um, hmm. Last turn of Tailwind. Okay. So we're going to Heavy Slam over here. We're going to Ice Spinner over here. Yeah, I was hoping they would miss a Bleak Wind and a Rock Slide. That's, that was my out, honestly. They don't miss either. These guys, he's so accurate. And he's getting flinches. Man, this is not my day, apparently. This is 100% not my day. And I recognize that. <sighs> it do be like that sometimes. I'm going to heavy slam over here. I'm going to tear grass. I got tear grass moonblast. I wanted a power gem, but like... I probably should have shadow balled in all honesty. I should have Shadow Ball. 
Now I'm susceptible to the bleak wind. If they just hit a bleak wind rock slide, I mean, I just probably lose. Of course they go tailwind. But there's no way this Moonblast is going to take out. Now they miss a rock slide. Oh, good. They did on Google. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm, I have, like, no bulk on this Flutter main. I can't break through this lead. We got to double into this thing. Hope for a bleak one miss. Or that. That works. Uh, can I get a double rock slide miss? One for the people in the back? Nope. GG's. Watch them flinch again. Watch watch them flinch my Gudra. Like, this team is so good, and I know what it does. And I'm out here trying with a Mammoth Swine. Doesn't even take him out. I'm just going to keep clicking this thing into this thing. We can't do anything about it. Yep. Yep. Man. Look how it's like doing the AI videos. We gotta win game three. We gotta win game three. This was just pain. Both of these games. Let's go game three. We got this. Let's clutch up. Got a match against Leloch. And, man, I just don't like seeing the Golden Go. Because Golden Go kind of screws me over here. Um, also, I don't know what... What's McCall wants to do? Uh... The Screamtail. I don't really know what Screamtail wants to do. So we're going to lead Fluttermane Gudra. And just try to set up right away. And I think I bring maybe Mamo. Mamo Clef in the back. I don't hate Mamo Clef. Ideally, you want Clef Gudra. But, I don't know. Once again, I am afraid to death of that Screamtail. So I would like to Shadow Ball it and Heavy Slam it and delete it as fast as humanly possible. That's a cool Talon Flame picture. Hey, go lay it down, little guy. My dog just wants to play so much right now. Iron Hands Golden Gun. Well... I'm gonna shadow. Hmm. They, if they protect, I just lose. But I, I don't care about the iron hands. Um. We're gonna be ballsy. I think they protect that slot and heavy slam that slot. So I'm going to do that, and I'm gonna acid armor the Gudra. I think they protect Golden Go. They might fake out, or I think they protect Golden Go and they heavy slam the Gudra. Or they heavy slam into the Fluttermane. Because they don't care about Fluttermane. Fluttermane doesn't do anything for them. Okay, so they got out the Iron Hands. What are you bringing in here? Screamtail. Okay, that's not the worst, honestly. Proto Speed. Okay, cool. They do protect the golden go, which is really, really nice for me. I'm gonna acid armor, but they're probably gonna encore me into acid armor. So I'm gonna icicle spear the scream tail and heavy slam the scream tail, thinking that they're gonna encore me into it. Are you? What are you gonna do? Terra water? You Terra dragon? You know that I am. I mean, I, I, I do have Icicle Spear. Yeah. I figured you'd Encore me into it, but you're also about to Encore me into... Oh, that does nothing. Mammo. I mean, Screamtail a, is a thick little dude. But, um... We got Screamtail to half, so it's not the end of the world, honestly. Okay. Please, nasty plot. He 
He's going to disable the Mammoth Swine. So I'm going to protect. And I am forced, once again, to Acid Armor the Gudra. Watch. He's going to protect the, the, the Golden Go, and he's going to disable... Oh, this is going to hurt. Okay, so now we know I have a smart cheeky play we can do. I'm going to Ice Shard the Golden Go. Yeah, I can only Acid Armor. I'm going to Acid Armor one more time. Because he's going he's gonna to Encore me into Protect, but if I get off the Ice Shard first, we're kind of... He, he, he Encore me into Ice Shard. So this is kind of cheeky. I think he just goes for like the same play, but instead he encores. Oh, that's good damage there, buddy. Because we crit. Thank you. Thank you for the encore. I will do it again. Since you asked so nicely. That's going to hurt. That hurt. I just lose now. I just, I just straight up lose. I, I can't beat this. Kevin, why did you do this to me? I'm also not good with Gudra. I've also, like, never been good with Gudra. Uh... I'm gonna tear a grass dazzle. Is there any reason I should tear grass? Uh, no, tear grass. I think it's good. I'm gonna tear grass dazzle, and I'm gonna nightshade the scream tail because I don't think dazzle will take out the scream tail, but dazzle plus nightshade should. I'm assuming it's gonna protect and try to disable me, thinking I'm I'm uh, what's I'm gonna call it, which could be bad. You protect the scream tail. Okay, so you're gonna let you're gonna let Golden Go go down, or you're gonna protect Golden Go too. That's fine by me. Um, I can. So it's, I think it's gonna disable me now. But I have an idea for that, right? Because I click Nightshade. I'm gonna click Follow Me. Yeah, Lefty's gold, he's a pain. All right, so now I'm gonna click Dazzle again, but this time I'm gonna click Follow Me, so my Follow Me is disabled. That way I can click Helping Hand and Nightshade and stuff in the end, and hopefully win. So that way it disables the Follow Me, right? Yeah, cool. I'm 100% sure that that was the smart thing to do here. Because next, I can just Helping Hand. I see that's the thing. I didn't think that would fit. And that's really annoying. Actually, no, I just lose I mean I was gonna lose anyway, I think. But now They're just gonna disable my dazzling gleam. Cause I know I'm not faster. I'm hoping you think I have protect. I gotta, I gotta, man. Yeah. God, I hate Scream Tail. It's, I hate, I'm so bad at playing with it, and then I'm bad against playing against it. That just drops. But here's the cool thing we're gonna see Clefairy get a KO. What are you doing, buddy? This was not a, this is not a good run. Mammoth Swine ain't it. At least Loaded Dice Mammoth Swine ain't it. I'm gonna blame Kevin for this one. The, uh, I mean, we, we, I would, none of those teams looked great. Not gonna lie. 
Uh, this one honestly probably did look the best. This ain't it. Um, let's have some fun and click. I'm hoping your scarf into into. Uh, I feel like you're probably scarfed into. Oh, you're not. But I just want to see Clefairy just live. It's gonna die real quick to the heavy slam, but up until this part, it's funny. Yep. Ah, uh, GGS, they got me. We're taking we're taking three L's on the first AI video back. Not great, but I mean, we but we played three very real teams. And this and this this team, yeah, AI AI kind of did us dirty. I'm not gonna blame this one fully on Kevin. Let's jump to a recap. There you have it, folks. AI team. Second time we've ever taken three L's. It just, I, I it's it's weird, man. I wish, I wish Gudra had protect. I wish, but which we could have fixed. But grassy seed ain't it. It needed to be leftovers. But AI wasn't having it. The double, the double ice doesn't feel good. It, it like, it, it, did we see three golden goes? I think we saw three golden goes. We definitely saw two. Uh, Golden Go just kind of mops through this team, right? Champau and Mamo and Fluttermane kind of just drop. I mean, I mean, it mops through Champau and Mamo. It can mop through a Fluttermane pretty easily. And then Gudra can't do anything to it. So I'm just left with Iron Hands, and Iron Hands can't really do much to it either, other than Wild Charge. But then I'm taking my own life. So it's, it's not the greatest. That's what happens when you let AI play. So yeah, we're gonna take the three L's this time, but we're gonna bounce back. We also gotta get back in the in the groove, right? This is the first AI video we've done in Reggie. So now we see what the water is. Um, once again, shout out to Kevin from Poker Sports. Shout out to Poker Sports. I love Mike too. Go subscribe to the channel. All that stuff will be down in the details. Those guys are uh, fantastic content creators and even better people. So please go subscribe to them. Also. Um, I have the rental up there if you ever want to play this. Don't know why. Uh, I'll have the paste down in the description. Also, in the description is a link to my Discord if you want to join it. Um, also, I definitely appreciate it if you sub to the channel. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to hit 2K subs before the end of the year, which it looks like we're, we're probably going to do. So, that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. We're going to hit this AI thing a little bit harder next week. Now that we're back, we're back. So, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I've never been more happy to, to release a team.